Hi everyone, I am Teacher Eds. I am glad that you're here again. For today's discussion, I am going to be your buddy. Before we start our discussion, let's answer some questions that will measure your knowledge and skills. Are you ready, kids? Alright. A vendor buys 85 boxes of candies. Each box has 100 candies. How many candies are there in all? There are 8,500 candies. Nana bought 12 sets of baby dresses. Each set cost 185 pesos. How much did she pay for all the dresses? The answer is 2,220 pesos. Mr. Santos is a postman. He has to deliver 178 letters in a day. How many letters will he deliver in 25 days? There are 4,450 letters. Three vendors sold flaglets at 6 pesos in Luneta during the Independence Day celebration. These vendors were able to sell 320 flags. How much was the total sale of the three vendors? The answer is 1,920 pesos. Nancy can type 32 words per minute. How many words can she type in 400 minutes? The answer is 12,800 words. Our lesson for today is solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Let's try to solve this routine problem. Mang Tony harvested 12,500 ears of corn from each of the 12 pots of his farm. While Mang Ambo harvested 8,540 ears of corn from each of the 18 plots of his farm. Who harvested more ears of corn? To analyze and solve routine and non-routine problems, you can use these steps. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. These are the questions that we need to answer. If any, determine the hidden questions. Find the necessary information. These are the important numbers or information to solve the problem. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. By identifying which of the basic operations we are going to use to solve the problem. Write the number sentence. This is where we write the given facts and operation together. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Take note of these steps because we need this in solving multi-step problems. To solve multi-step routine and non-routine work problems, you have to follow several steps. 
Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. The farmer who harvested more ears of corn. If any, determine the hidden questions. The number of ears of corn mang Tony harvested, the number of ears of corn mang Ambo harvested. Find the necessary information. The given facts are 12,500 ears of corn from each of the 12 plots, 8,540 ears of corn from each of the 18 plots. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. We are going to use multiplication and subtraction. Write the number sentence. 12 times 12,500 is equal to N. 18 times 8,540 is equal to N. Step 3. Solve. Solve using the operations. Then compare the harvest of the two farmers. 12,500 times 12. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. We write 0 and regroup 1. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Now we add the partial products. We bring down 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. We write 0 and regroup 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. And we bring down 1. Now we have 150,000 ears of corn, which is Mangtoni's harvest. Now let's solve Mang Ambo's harvest. 8,540 times 18. 8 times 0 is equal to 0. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. We write 2 and regroup 3. 8 times 5 is equal to 40 plus 3 is equal to 43. We write 3 and regroup 4. 8 times 8 is equal to 64 plus 4 is equal to 68. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Now we add the partial products. We bring down 0. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. We write 3 and regroup 1. 1 plus 6 plus 8 is equal to 15. Now we have 153,720 years of corn, which is Mang Ambo's harvest. Step 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. 
state the complete answer. Mang Ambo harvested more ears of corn than Mang Tony. Let's try to solve this non-routine problem. Marlon drew 10 circles in each of the 5 boxes. He shaded 12 circles. How many circles were not shaded? Step 1. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. Circles that were not shaded. Find the necessary information. The given facts are 10 circles in each of the 5 boxes and 12 circles. There are many ways of solving word problems like drawing a picture, using a number line, acting out, making a table, and others. We call this non-routine as word problems. Based on the non-routine problem, look at the illustration presented. We can see from the illustration that there are 50 circles in 5 boxes. By counting, you will know that 38 circles are not shaded and 12 circles are shaded. Using an illustration is one of the best ways to solve problems. However, you should also know or learn solving problems through mathematical operations. Let's try to solve the non-routine problem using mathematical operation. Step 2. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. The operation that we are going to use are multiplication and subtraction. Write the number sentence. 5 times 10 minus 2 is equal to n. Step 3. Solve. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. 50 minus 12 is equal to 38. Step 4. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. There are 38 circles that were not shaded. How to solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools? To analyze and solve routine and non-routine problems, you can use these steps. Understand. Read and understand the problem. Know what is asked for in the problem. If any, determine the hidden questions. Find the necessary information. Plan. Determine the operation to be used. Write the number sentence. Solve. Solve using the operation. You can use any method you are comfortable with. Check and look back. See if your answer makes sense. State the complete answer. Let's have an activity. Direction. Choose the letter of the correct answer. In a certain school, Grade 4 has 8 sections with 45 pupils each section, while the Grade 3 has 10 classes with 40 pupils each. How many pupils are there in Grade 4 and Grade 3? A. 360 B. 400 C. 670 and D, 
The correct answer is letter D, 760. During the quarantine period, mother bought 8 cans of sardines at 14 pesos each, 6 cans of corned beef at 37 pesos each, and 5 cans of meatloaf at 22 pesos each. How much did mother pay for the canned goods? A. 110 pesos B. 112 pesos C. 222 pesos And letter D. 444 pesos The correct answer is letter D, 444 pesos. Marvin bought 8 pieces of notebook at 22 pesos each, 3 ball pens at 15 pesos each, 2 pencils at 12 pesos each, and a correction tape worth 56 pesos. How much change will he receive if he gave 1,000 pesos A. 221 pesos B. 699 pesos C. 301 pesos and D. 245 pesos
The answer is letter B, 699 pesos. Thanks for watching. Remember to review this video for the enhancement of your learning. See you next time. Bye!